Stephanie Milkey here, aka Keto Mom, or often called Mom, Sis, Steffi, Daughter, Wife, Aunt, and Friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is Mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest, if you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and I am going to talk about the word motivation, which I realize, did you hear it? I'm sitting in the the garage. I'm sitting in my car, my minivan, which I love. Uh, and my daughter's doing piano. So when I sit here, I think I should probably do a live. And I'm realizing I look bold. We just got done with CrossFit. We had lunch, did some intermittent fasting, went to CrossFit, ate lunch, feel amazing, having my favorite afternoon little kick. And I want to talk about this word motivation. So as you're tuning in, I actually have a question for you. It's very important. So if you're playing full out, I feel like I have to fix my hair because I look so funny. So hold, please hold. Where are you tuning in from? How was your day? If you had to rate your day, A, B, C, D, F, how's your day going? And we're going to talk about this motivational word. All right. Tell me what motivates you. And there's a reason I ask because I get a lot of people there. Look, I don't look bald anymore. I'm going to fix it. All right. I get a lot of people that ask me and they say, all right, Steph, tell me how you stay motivated. How do you stay motivated? Or I have a lot of people that say this, I'm just not motivated. I'm just, I can't get myself motivated. So I had a sweet girl, I'm not going to say her name, but she messaged me the other day and she's like, I need motivation. How do I do it? How do I get motivated? Do I not look bald anymore? So I said, I asked her one question and I said, I need you to actually tell me what motivation means to you. Like I, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm sweating. Guys, this is so great. Minnesota weather. Praise the Lord for 70 degrees. So I said to her, I said, I need you to tell me, can you guys hear me? Okay. Maybe my internet isn't great. Um, I, I said, Hey, tell me what actually motivates you. That was the question. And she said, that's all you had to ask me. She's like, I didn't actually know what motivated me. So she took that question, which I love. And she said, all I did is I, instead of focusing on all the negatives for that day or the things that weren't working, this is what she said. She said, I actually went and I dug deep within. And she said, I actually had to go figure out what motivates me. So here's what I want to talk about real quick. Uh, the difference between motivation and inspiration. There is a difference. Motivation, usually motivation is something that motivates you. A song, uh, maybe you need to listen to whatever is going to get you pumped up, right? Something on the outward. Like maybe somebody's like, man, you're doing so great. Good job. You look so strong. Like motivation is something that's not within you. It's on the outside of you. So again, it could be a song. It could be a podcast. It could be a saying, I don't even know. So motivation is comes without. Have you ever heard this phrase before? Motivation is temporary. Inspiration lasts forever. So I asked her what motivates you. I actually should have asked her what inspires you. Inspiration comes within. So if you feel like you lack motivation, or if you feel like, man, I just keep quitting, get frustrated. uh, I keep quitting. Like, I just, I have people message me every day. I can't get motivated. I'm not motivated. I don't know how to stay motivated. I want you to dig within and I want you to think about this. Inspiration like pulls you to do something. It's your inward grit. It's your inward, why are you here? Why do you want what you want? Not because I listened to a song to motivate me that day, but what inspires you from within? Who do you want to become? Who are you becoming? 
what do you want to see the end result and why are you playing? Why are you doing that? Does that make sense? Like you should be inspired if you didn't have any piece of motivation for the rest of your life. You couldn't listen to that song. You couldn't watch somebody motivate you. You couldn't, you couldn't read something to motivate you and you had to dig within. You're going to have to inspire yourself. And part of that comes from you going, why do I want what I want? Who do I want to become? Do I want to become that healthier, stronger me? Do I want to be a, a fit mom or a fit grandma? Do I want to be able to run that marathon? Do I want to become a runner? Do I want to become? Because as you do that and you work on yourself, that should pull you to get your booty out of bed, to make the better choice, to drink the water instead of the pop, to drive past that drive through to whatever you're working on, right? Does that make sense? The difference between motivation and inspiration? You tell me. Um, this morning, I did a live. I would highly recommend that you go watch it because I talked about some facts around your health journey. And they weren't my facts. They were from a doctor. I shared them in my stories and then I talked about them on the live. And they're everything that I say in general. They're the things that I say, so many other people say, and yet people just need to hear them over and over again. So if you're brand new to this journey, welcome to the Keto Mom page. I'd love to help you. If you're not brand new and you need a reminder, I want to remind you that the only way that you're going to fail is if you quit. And the diet that's going to work for you is the one you stick with long-term, not for two weeks, not for a couple months, long-term creating a lifestyle, right? There's simple things I talked about this morning. It was around food, around sleep, around working out. Go watch the morning live. As always, you can post questions below and I'd love to answer those. If you have specific questions about intermittent fasting, if you're just getting started, you need a basic foods list, post food in the comments. Here's what I will tell you. There's nothing new under the sun. That's biblical. You can follow me or probably 18 other keto, low carb, passionate people. Anybody that's passionate about helping people with their health and fitness. And you're going to hear the basic same principles, right? You're going to hear the get your water in. You're going to hear get your movement in. Depending on how they coach people on eating, that's a little bit different. But consistency, whether you're vegan or you're Whole30 or you're low carb or you're keto, all across the board, the word consistency plays a part in that. If you're consistently eating whole whole30 you're not eating the sugar if you're consistently eating low carb you're not eating the garbage like does that make sense sometimes we get so fixated or stuck on this what if I'm not doing the right thing the right diet the right and you're watching all of these people do different things if you keep switching over and over again it's never gonna work for you now if so you've been doing something and I'm gonna say I have people that say to me I've been doing keto for months and months and months, and I haven't lost any weight. Then I want to evaluate it. I want you to send me a message. Tell me what you're eating. Let me let get somebody else's eyeballs on what you're doing. Ask for advice. Ask for suggestions, right? That's what's so great about having a coach and having somebody help you. Our One of my favorite pastors, Pastor Craig Rochelle, who is the book, I'm sorry, who is the author of the book called The Power to Change, which everybody should read. It should be like a requirement in life, the book called The Power to Change. And if you looked at, so my husband used to work for him, even like our, some of our mentors are their best friends, like an incredible family. And somebody who appears, he's not perfect, but appears to be doing incredible in life, still has a coach. He talks about it. Somebody to help hold him accountable. Somebody to help him give him suggestions to maybe see where there are things that need to be fixed. So if you're trying to do life by yourself, nobody was meant to do life by themselves. We weren't meant to do life by ourselves. We were meant to do life together. So ask somebody to join you. I talked this morning on how it's so important to communicate with your family on the journey that you're going on. Send me a message. I would love to help have a conversation with you and give you some suggestions. Uh, whatever it is that you're looking for, reach out. Don't do life by yourself. And if you're trying to do it by yourself, the likelihood of you failing, not to be mean, it's kind of likely. It's just because you can talk yourself out of it, right? You you have self-doubt and you need somebody to go, listen, you can do this. 
you can do this. So whatever it is you're looking for, send me a message, ask below, go to ketomomsecrets.com and click on recipes. If you need help with your mindset, click on book club. If you need some ketones, click on trial packs. I mail them out every single day. Whatever you're looking for, reach out and ask. I hope you guys have an incredible afternoon and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.